Good morning everyone, it's me again, Clam from Clam Traff Lock. So today, Saturday in the early morning, 7.30, me and Gavin going to do another historical ride, a railway ride. So today, I'm in uh, South Geelong Railway Station. So what are we going to do today? The 35 kilometers Belarant Railway Trail. So this 35 kilometers railway trail runs around the former Queenscliff railway line, uh, which operates in between South Geelong railway station and Queenscliff railway station. It operates in between the year of 1879 and 1976. So the South Geelong railway station actually located next to the Cardinia uh, Park, the home ground of the Aussie Rules Football Club. Geelong Cats. So this railway station currently still in use as part of a station of Wanabo Railway Line. So this South Geelong Railway Station located in the suburb of South Geelong, a southern suburb of Geelong. It is considered one of the oldest suburbs in the whole Geelong area as it was the location, the first house built in the whole Geelong area. So the name Geelong actually derived from Aboriginal language, Geelong. It, there is a controversy between the words Geelong and Korea used in the name. So the word Geelong used by the Aboriginal is actually referring to the Coral Bay today. What meanwhile, the Coral actually referring to the land of Geelong today. So it was mistakenly mixed up by the early settlers and surveyors. End up they used the Geelong word as the land and Korea as the bay. It's another 10 minutes to 8 o'clock. I'm still waiting for Gavin. Meanwhile, here comes Gavin. <laughs> good morning. Hello, good morning. How Gavin, are you? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, freezing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so today my bike, the Merida Big 710. And for Gavin, his track Marlin. And good things, he got his GoPro on his bike finally. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, go. So you ready? Yeah. Um, all right, now we start our journey on Balaran Railway Trail, starting from South Geelong Railway Station. All right. Okay, now this is the suburb of Breakwater. So, for this suburb named Brickwater is kind of weird for me as Brickwater usually refer to the structure they built on the coast to protect from the tides but why they name this suburb Brickwater when it is an inland suburb so after my research I did realize the reason so Brickwater was actually named by the former Geelong First Police Magistrate Captain Foster Fiance he named it after the rock fort built on the Barrow River to stop the inflow salt water into the fresh water river. And on my right hand side, this is Geelong Showground. So we're going to cross St Albans Road, which means we are entering the suburb of Thompson. So this suburb of Thompson, named after the first mayor of Geelong, Dr. Alexander Thompson. So this is Boundary Road. So once we cross Boundary Road, we are entering another two suburbs. This section of the trail actually is a divider between two suburbs. On my left, it's known as Newcomb. On my right, known as Whittington. So Newcomb was originally known as West Mulep. It was renamed in 1956 upon request of the West Mulep Progress Association in honour of Caroline Newcomb, the comrade and partners of Anne Drysdale, which was an early pioneer pastoralist in the area of Drysdale. On my right hand side, Wittenden used to be part of Breakwater. So it was, named, it was renamed in honour of James Wittenden, the early settler of the area. Entering the rural locality of Mulep. So this area, Mulep, actually derived from an Aboriginal name, means men's gathering to go fishing. Yeehaw! So now on my left hand side, this is Balerian Highway. We're gonna cross 
to the other side of the highway. So crossing Bellerin Highway. Okay, so this is the former area of the Mulep Railway Station. So this is the former site of the Mulep Railway Station. There's some information here. Uh, so they added a bit of office there. Yeah. So this is the former office. Maybe the station. So this railway station, yeah. when they first built, is actually the main purpose is for the workers for the sort work. So they make the sort here. Yeah, yeah. Ah. So we try to explore as much as we yeah, can. Yeah, yeah. As part of the history learning. So at least good, they actually write what road you're crossing, so you roughly know where you are now. Wow! Sunshine! Look at all this farm area. Once we cross this avenue, we are entering another ruler area known as Leopold. So this area is Leopold in honor of Prince Leopold, Duke of Albany, the youngest son of Queen Victoria. So this is the former location of the Leopold Railway Station Formerly known as Kensington Flat You know why? Because this area is originally known as Kensington So the original railway station known as Kensington Hill Railway Station It was further down yeah, yeah. But they, reconstruct, they, they, they abandoned the station and built a new station known as Kensington Flat uh -huh. In this area uh, Because it's nearer to the town The old one is too far from the town It's a poor location Oh, so here it is. <laughs> Kensington Hill Railway <laughs> Station, right? Check it out, baby. <laughs> Do you like this trail? Yeah, thanks. Okay. So. This is oh, the former wow. site of the Curly Station. Wow. Oh, the station actually yeah. opened in oh, 1940. So how do you feel? Good. Good? Yeah, easy. No cramping today? No, nah, not yet. Not yet. Maybe. Mm. But nothing at the moment. Yeah. So? Let's hope. Yeah. yeah. Good. So, all I can say is... Noise! <laughs> so the area of Kavali is originally known as Point Henry. And it renamed in honor of one of the pioneers in the area. Josh Campbell Curvelis Crossing Curlewis Road I'm the king of the world Oh you see? The railway That's the railway track That's the railway track This is the former railway track The former site of Scarborough Station. Morning. Morning. Oh, tiger! Roar! Roar! <laughs> <laughs> see how much developed in this area compared to what I see on uh, Google Map. So, crossing Jetty Road, we are in the ruler town area of Drysdale. So, why they name this place Drysdale? Because the area is very dry. No, I'm just joking. What? The actual reason they named Dry Steel because they named after Ain Dry Steel, a pioneer pastoralist in this area. So this lake apparently located next to the Dry Steel station. Ah. Uh, but I don't know what's the name of this lake So, looks cool So this is a dry steel railway station uh, Part of the former Queenscliff railway line, Bellerian railway line Ah, Bellerian Peninsula Railway First opened on the May 21st in 
Oni. Happy, happy. Woo! Wow! Woo! Whoa! Oh my God! It's just like heaven. Look, the sign says we're going downhill and it's popular. So beautiful. So now crossing Swan Bay Road. So they need this area, Menorim, a house, a property on Queen, Queen's Cliff Road. Yeah. Gave his bike, he put a Philippine oh, national yeah. flag. Yeah, he national thinks, pride. He thinks that no one knows a philo. And you know what's funniest? Where's I saw Malaysian flag. He yeah. puts his name there. Yeah, GB. Per personalized. Just like school kids. <laughs> Wow, eh? <laughs> wow! Oh my god! Left, and then turn right. So this is the Summer Park or Suma Park, whatever, railway station. It was built to serve the homestead and behind there. There's a homestead behind, known as Summer Park Homestead Estate. It was uh, named by Stephen Bailey as Summer Park. Before that, it was known as Frankfurt on the Sea. So this is the another railway station on the Bellarine Railway Trail. So once we pass Sumner Park, we are in the area of Point Longsteel. So Point Longsteel was named after William Longsteel. The same person of Longsteel Street in the city named after. So there's one interesting uh, story about Point Longsteel, this area, which is happened in like 200 years ago. An escaped convict, William Buckley, actually escaped and hide in this area of Point Longsteel for 32 years living with Aboriginal since the 1803 even before John Batman found Melbourne Oh! Red Rooster! Dangle. Let's see some Red Rooster! <laughs> nice! Oh! Longsteel Tomato Farm! You want to buy some tomato? Yeah, what the real? I think this is a maintenance tree. The, the yellow one in the front is the maintenance tree. Skeleton tree. <laughs> Alright. Crossing Fellows Road. Officially in the area of Chris Cliff. So this is the part of this Ballerine Railway Trail. Share with a road. Nice houses facing the wetland. This is Swan Bay. Swan Bay of Port Phillip Bay. Why they named this place Swan Bay? Swan Bay was actually named by Matthew Flinders, the early explorer that explored uh, Port Phillip Bay. He named this area Swan Bay because when he discovered, he saw a lot of swamp, black swamp in the area. So he named it Swan Bay. So for this area, Chris Cliff is now a seaside town, as well as a Victorian era heritage area used to be known as Shortland Bluff and renamed into Queenscliff it was believed they named Queenscliff in honour of Queen Victoria 
Oh wow! Look at that view! Woo! Look at the view of Swan Bay and Bellerin Railway. What a view! Wow! So unreal! Yeah! What oh, a stunning view! This is fun! International significant Swan Bay and Kevin Polycapio. He, nice. just, he just ate the swamp, that's why. Wow, eh? <laughs> that's the end! Queenscliff Railway Station! Whoa, this is so unreal! We're in Queenscliff Railway Station the eastern end of the Bellarine River Trail and we saw actually a steam train here so what do you feel? I feel like Thomas and his train <laughs> <laughs> so this is a tuna and avocado oh no avocado tuna and mayo oh thank you After uh, enjoying a bit of time at Queenscliff Railway Station and we have some uh, refreshment, sandwich, tuna and mayonnaise sandwich so we decided to head back to South Geelong so during the ride I will talk a bit of summary about this railway trail let's go now, jump! Yup, yup, yup! Okay, now we are on the way back to South Geelong so let me just give you a bit of summary about this Bellarine Railway Trail so this 35 kilometers Bellarine Railway Trail runs along the former Queenscliff Railway Line also known as Bellarine Railway Line between South Geelong and Dr Queenscliff so the surface of the trail is basically majority around 75% on concrete 25% on gravel mainly fine gravel in between dry steel and point long steel basically there's one part you have to ride off the trail riding on the road somewhere in between point long steel and Queenscliff one thing good about this trail is there's a lot of water station along the trail there are quite few of them you can actually refill your water besides there's a lot of uh, signboard actually tells you which route are you crossing so you don't have to worry like you are out of nowhere, you don't know where you are but regarding toilet wise it's, hard, it's really hard to find toilets basically it's quite safe to ride but not in the night as there's no lights elevation wise it's around 165 meters elevation gain in one way so it's pretty much an easy climbing ride very suitable for beginner but make sure don't get on your road bike as the gravel part going to cause some damage to your road bike at least get a gravel bike or use your mountain bike or even hybrid they will be fine anyway let's continue back to South Geelong we made it to South Geelong railway station completed our journey all right Whew. 
we are back to South Geelong Railway Station. That's me. We complete our return trip. 35 and 35 and up. Total of 70 kilometers. The total riding time is four hours, yeah. which is good. Which is good. But the actual time, including all the talking, taking photos, that's four hours. Yeah, four hours. <laughs> <laughs> so, so eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two. Oh, we did six hours. Yeah. So six, six hours. hours. So two hours of stopping. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. So anyway, so this is the ride of our 70 kilometers return trip between G South Geelong and Queenscliff on Bellerin Railway Trail. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Of course, always remind you, if you like my video, don't forget to click the like, subscribe, and share it out. I'm Clem and Gavin. We are from Clem Travlog. I see you next time. Bye-bye. It's not a game, it's a rat's thing.